creatine good for glute growth? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, you, you want to know why, don't you? Oh, and uh, just as a small aside before we uh, actually start up this video, I know this is about creatine for glute growth, but when it comes right down to it, the exercises that you do as well as the eating that you're doing is going to have a big impact on, on glute growth in, in general. So uh, I'm going to put a link to a video right now, uh, and it's going to be leading you to how to do a proper hip thrust. Um, there's going to be a lot of videos in the card today, so also check in the description below because I'll put all the video links there as well. Uh, but yeah, that'll do you a lot of favors. Uh, I can't help you with the eating in this one, but if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, anyhow, let's get to the video. Okay, so is creatine good for glute growth? Uh, this is a question that I don't know how many of you are asking, but enough of you are asking it that I found out that it's a question worth answering. So I figured today I'd actually answer that question for you guys. So let's talk about this. I mean, I feel like it should be fairly obvious given the series I did on creatine. Cue the card for the first video in that series, what is creatine? If you don't know what creatine is, that's going to give you a very good idea as to what it is. I go through the science of how creatine functions and what exactly it is. Uh, I tell you a, a good amount about what it isn't as well. Uh, there's a whole long series, three videos at least there, where I'll talk about the various applications of creatine in terms of how to maximize its usage, what it's good for, what it does in your body. But essentially, creatine is going to help you do more high quality working sets in the gym, generally speaking. So. To kind of roundabout answer this question, let's first talk about glute growth in general. What are we looking to do here? We're looking to grow muscles. For the most part, that's the vast majority of what we're looking to do. We want a bigger bum. Damn! That's, that's the bottom line. No pun intended. There are very few functions it has that wouldn't lead to your overall glute growth. So uh, one, in terms of water, it does help your muscles retain more water inside the muscles, mind you. It's not going to bloat you. Of course, that's another thing that I talk about in the video series about creatine, telling you guys why it is shenanigans for you to think that it's going to cause bloating. It really just no science behind that, but it's going to help your muscles retain more water inside themselves, not outside. So that's going to lead to your glutes looking bigger because they're muscles. So when more water is held inside of them, boom, you're going to end up with bigger looking glutes. So that's one. Two, you're going to have increased capacity for high quality work through your workouts. And when we're working out, we're looking to micro tear the muscles, repair the muscles, and then repeat the process over and over again in order to stimulate the muscle such that it achieves hypertrophy, which is the growth of the muscle. So if we are doing more high quality working sets, then we are going to get more growth out of the glutes over time. So yeah, it's going to help grow your glutes. So yeah, the basic functions of creatine really spell it out pretty easy, simple and plain. Creatine helps grow your glutes. Simple as that. Uh, so ladies out there, if you already aren't taking creatine, which quite frankly, at this particular point in time, I'm wondering why you wouldn't. So I figure some of you might be thinking, well, financially, it just, it's not something that I want to put my money down on right now because I don't have the money for creatine. Okay. You know what? In that case, perhaps I would say, cool, makes sense. Fine. But for the other holdouts in the crowd, why are you holding out on taking creatine girls? What's stopping you? I can't imagine anything that would stop you. Like I mentioned, I have a video series, which is in a card that's somewhere above my head, talking about creatine and why it's hugely beneficial and why we don't see any negative side effects in healthy individuals taking creatine. So long and the short, as long as you go to the doctor, get them to clear you and the fact that your kidneys and your liver and all the rest of your organs are just working beautifully, you have nothing to worry about. In fact, you stand at everything to gain from this. More 
muscle mass, which is what is going to end up happening from creatine in the long run here, will lead to more active tissue, which means more working in your favor for calorie burning, which means less effort spent being in a caloric deficit, which means more fat loss easier, which means a better overall physique, which means bigger glutes, which means nicer toned shoulders. Ugh, I hate the word toned, but I'm going to say it anyways because it reaches you. You get what I'm talking about when I say that. You're going to get better shape to the overall limbs, you better shoulders, better arms, better legs, better glutes, better abs, better everything muscle wise, better strength, better performance in the gym. It, I can't, there is no reason not to. And it's not illegal. It is not a drug. It's not going to cause massive adverse side effects. It's not even going to cause minor adverse side effects. If you find that you have any GI discomfort because of it, gastrointestinal discomfort, then just take it in smaller dosages separated across the day so that you don't have to worry about the impact of the creatine on your stomach. Simple as. So if you're a holdout, why? Now, if what I just said for some reason convinced you, cool, but I appreciate you go down into the comment section below and tell me why it was that you were holding out before I said all that. And if you're still holding out, if you're still thinking, no, 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 I can't take creatine, it's just not for me, why? I'm really interested to find out why. So if you are a person who's not taking creatine, a girl specifically who sees creatine and has this sort of negative view about it, please hit up the comment section below. Let me know. I want to have a conversation. I'm not here to belittle you. I'm not here to talk down to you. I'm not here to tell you that you need to change your life and change your ways. I am here to provide suggestions and perhaps correct any misconceptions you might have about creatine, but in no way am I trying to tell you how to live your life. So I am just curious and I'd like to have a conversation. So please head out into the comment section below and let me know. I hope you found this informative, entertaining. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, of course, if you did, tell me about it. I'd like to hear about it. I want to hear from all you guys, really, just generally speaking. So of course, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of our future videos. And uh, of course, throw some comments down to let me know what you want to see from future videos, because I'd love to get some suggestions and then I can uh, tailor this content to meet exactly what you guys are looking for. But that does it for this video. And of course, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.